921 on Morning Live, looking for gifts that are out of the box. Well, Rob Cowley is back with us from Canadian Fine Art. The uh, auction uh, from Canadian Fine Art is back. This is uh, actually a great gift idea, but also there are many more Canadians getting involved in collecting. So actually this morning we're talking about Art Collecting 101. Absolutely. Well, we have an auction right now um, at Consigner uh, Canadian Fine Art at consigner.ca. We do online auctions um, where you can go. You can bid online in the comfort of your own home. Bidding is until next Wednesday, the 25th. And so these are some of the works that are included in the auction, and they're all valued below $1,500, so for the new collector. And we actually have some group of seven we do. pieces here. So you, can, so you can get a group of seven piece for under 1500 bucks. You can. They're, they're prints. Now, both yeah. of them are prints. Uh, many members of the, some members of the group of seven were printmakers. Right. Uh, one right here, actually, Lionel Lemoyne Fitzgerald, who's based in Winnipeg. Mm -hmm. This is a lino cut by the artist. And it's actually signed and even inscribed Season's Greetings on the other side. So it's a very personal work for him. So define for us the difference between print, copy, and replica. Well, print can be a catch-all. Print can sometimes can be a very um, high, high series number as well, almost like a poster. So if you're up, and it can be 3,000 in that series. Not not always, much value there. Not always the best area if you're looking to invest. These works would be much more controlled. So they're much smaller runs. Sometimes they're 50, sometimes they're 100 or a couple of 100. And that's the case here. A work by Lionel Lemoyne and Fitzgerald. This opens for bidding on the site now at about $450. Okay. So that's the number around 100 in terms of real collectible territory. Definitely. No 100, a couple of 100. At least you know that there is a control there, certainly, in terms of the numbers. Yeah. What When you're appraising art, what do you look for? You look at many different factors. Um, artist is very important. Uh, a work by a member of the Group of Seven is going to fetch more at auction than a lesser known artist. Uh, the subject matter, what are they best known for? Mm -hmm. Is it usually going to fetch more? Condition of the artwork. Uh, there's about 10 or 12 different factors that are prime. Um, but, but certainly all of those go together in us valuing works for yeah. the sales. Because it's intimidating for many people, the art be. world, not just the cost, mm -hmm. but just in terms of the knowledge base. But Many but, more Canadians are getting involved? Yeah, they are. They definitely are. And certainly we do our best as well to, uh, to remove as much intimidation as possible. The online auctions really do allow you to bid from the comfort of your home. We do uh, extensive live previews in our gallery at 326 Dundas across from the AGO as well. Mm -hmm. You can come in. We recommend speaking to the specialists about the works you have interest in, doing research as well, going online, looking up the artists you have interest in, really training your eye before you make that first purchase and try to find an establishment where you're not going to be forced to make, um, to make a purchase you're not comfortable with. Okay. Let's uh, take a look at uh, sure. this uh, piece, for example. This is a work by Henri Masson. Mm -hmm. He was an Ottawa painter. Uh, still life here. This opens at about $650, mm -hmm. uh, so a great work here. This work actually up front is a historical work, which tend to be popular with new collectors, and uh, works on paper as well, which can be very popular with new collectors. This is a work um, by John McNaughton. Uh, there's actually a pair of works being offered together. Uh, they open at about $1,000. It's actually a watercolor from uh, 1884, so, um, so, and that's Montreal, in fact. Okay, this one actually jumped out. At me. Yeah, beautiful work. Um, uh, uh, Henriette uh, Fotomasse, mm -hmm. who is a Quebec painter, a little lesser known in the auction mm -hmm. world, and so that really helps to keep her values um, a, a little more conservative for the new collector. That mm -hmm. opens at about a thousand. But as an investment for the lesser knowns, uh... no, but it, it still can be. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, buying quality is important. Buying what you like, we mm -hmm. definitely recommend buying what you like because even if you don't see a great rise in value over time, you can live with the work and really enjoy it. Right, yeah. definitely. Uh, A.J. Casson, another print by mm -hmm. a member of the Group of Seven, seven very well-known member of the Group of Seven, opens at about $400. Um, a very well-known artist up front, actually. The smaller work is by Maude Lewis. Okay, now that's an interesting piece. Definitely. I'm familiar with her work. Actually, I've actually been uh, in the home that she painted in. The home mm -hmm. is about the size of a small garden shack, shed. Essentially yeah. a shack. In Nova Scotia. They're yeah. actually making a movie with Ethan Hawke right now about her life. Um, oh, that's so been shot in Nova being Scotia. shot in Newfoundland, it? actually. Oh, in Newfoundland? Newfoundland okay. but, um, and so that's a work, her paintings can sell. Folk art. Folk art, exactly. Yeah. Her paintings can sell between five and $10,000. This is a smaller work on card, and mm -hmm. so it opens at about 1000 So it's a little bit less. We, uh, many new collectors will choose that as a theme, works that would, on paper. That would be a good cards. investment piece? It would be, definitely, yeah. because uh, it, it has a, a little bit of rarity as well because we don't see those works in the marketplace as much. Yeah, and again, with the name too, I mean, it's a conversation piece. You're right, you're absolutely you right, know. definitely. Yeah. yeah. And then the last work is a work by Manley McDonald uh, from Prince Edward County, uh, Bay of Quinney area. This is, a very, is it more of a rare work for him, but it is um, a lot of interest in it already. It's actually U of T campus. That's Hard House. Um, Beautiful. Hard House. That opens about fifteen hundred dollars. Beautiful. How many pieces in total for this uh, auction? About one hundred and fifty. A great deal of them, again, are, are definitely in a category for the new collector. We then follow with a December auction from the third to the ninth, with even more works for the new collector. Okay, as well. so it runs till next Wednesday. The mm -hmm. preview is at consigner.ca. We'll link that at chh.com. Perfect. Okay, and uh, it's intriguing. Absolutely. Into the art world. Yeah. Thanks, Rob Kelly. Thanks, All Bob. right. Uh, coming up, the news at.
at 9.30, and Brian Wood will paint a picture of the weekend weather.